If you have a hundred forty thousand dollars superannuation when you retired, that's nothing. So this article has gone through those who are mainly from a non-English speaking background, basically an import or minority, right? A migrant background, and I see what my parents and not only just my parents but like. Extended family as well. Obviously, cash is king. They didn't have any super. Have they invested in houses or whatever? Look, one of them's going well, the other one's not. And they don't have super at all. Where my mom probably be working, what, how many years? Five or six years, and you know, four years, and then be working a lot. Uh, I don't know how much she, she accumulate, accumulate your tax, her super. I'm currently, I'm having $40,000 on my super. Um, I'm not here to compare or comparison, whatever. But it's just the fact that the average birth rate is 55 and, uh, and 50. So if you're not speaking background, 55 years old and older was 277000 to Because we cannot find a proper job. That pays you know on, on the books and we don't believe in paying taxes right and we have like that you can't get a proper job and you know in the early stage you believe in cash in hand and after that you started to move into working into uh whatever uh and probably most of them are working a low skilled job low income you know and when you have like that so it is very hard who planning to retire 67 years old, who currently earned $44,000 a year. Get an increase from 293000 to 33, okay, 336000 Okay, I'm not here to judge, but how old am I? I am... 34 34 I'll probably have according to I've got 33 years ahead to be retired right and the problem with this money right this this super thing is that you cannot touch your super unless if the government changes a bit of rules where I just hear from the news that you can pretty much you can purchase a house uh, it's a first home owner uh, just to boost people to buy houses, but you know, during the COVID, you could dip into your super. Um, okay, so if I work another three thirty three years, I can't touch that money. In the crypto world, our Aussie dollar devalues eight percent. All right, so let's just say I've been working for the last four years, right. And I'm working for the last four years, right? I've been working for the last four years and four years, four years, and what did I mention? 30, 33, yeah. 33 retires, so 33, that you say 37 years. 37 years, you times by. 8%. My money, our Aussie devaluation is 296%. So let's just say every year I have $20,000 of worth of super and new times by what did I just say? 34 years. So I get $680,000. Alright, let's just say like that, right? $680,000, my value of the Australian dollar has devalued. 300 like close to 300 percent every year uh or by the time i get to that stage in the crypto world what we talked about is obviously you make and you lose right obviously i'm not gonna say expert everything on that but the currency can go up now depending on which coin i'm not saying all coins are like that but if you're talking about the big boys yes it works like that as well so it's very important to know our future as well all right 
So when you have like that, it is very difficult to move, uh, you know, to retirement. Now, if you have $180,000, that's a piece of cake. You probably spend that in what? Depending on your lifestyle, maybe one or two years. I'll be honest, by that time I retire, by the 30, 680000 is nothing. So it's very important to know retirement in if you have a, a, a passive income in sort whatsoever. Now, I know many of you guys will say, look, it's 33% capital gain tax. Now, you have to find something passive that you don't have to work, accumulate, and you get taxed 33%. It is what it is. You can't be working on a salary, and, and obviously, who may know, when I'm by the time I'm 67, I may not have a career. I don't know. You know, I'm just letting you guys know. It's very difficult. 